Hello everyone, my name is Anushri, second year BE in Information Science and Engineering student at Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. Today's topic of my presentation is Wireless Sensor Networks and Microcontrollers. Today's agenda is Introduction, Architecture of WSN, WSN Node, Architecture of a Sensor Node, Characteristics, Factor Influence, Applications, Advantages, Disadvantages, Microcontroller for WSN, Operational Challenges, Future, and Conclusion. So introduction, a wireless sensor is a device that can gather sensory information and detect changes in local environments. Wireless sensors are designed to measure specific parameters about their physical surroundings and produce outputs, often electrical signals, for further processing. These parameters include many different types of stimuli including air, temperature, lighting levels, movements, and liquid leakages. A wireless sensor network is a wireless network consisting of a specially distributed autonomous devices using sensors to cooperatively monitor physical or environmental conditions such as temperature, sound, vibration, pressure, motion or pollutants at different locations. So here we can see the application of a wireless sensor networks both in a, in a technical field and as well as in medical field. Wireless sensor networks, even though wireless sensor networks have a limited resources in memory, computation, power, bandwidth, and energy, with a small physical size, it can be embedded in a physical environment. Self-organizing multi-hop ad hoc networks, uh, wireless sensor network is an infrastructureless wireless network that is deployed in a large number of wireless sensors in an ad hoc manner that is used to monitor the system, physical or environmental conditions. A sensor node is then used in a WSN with the onboard processor that manages the uh, monitors the environment in a particular area. They are connected to the base station with which acts as a uh, processing unit. Wireless sensor network architecture. Layer network architecture. This kind of ne network uses hundreds of uh, sensor nodes as well as the base stations. Here, the arrangement of the network nodes can be done into a concentric layers. It comprises five layers as well as the three cross layers, which include the following application layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, and physical layer. Cluster network architecture in this kind of architecture separately sensor nodes are added into a groups known as the clusters which depends on the leach protocol which means uh, which stands for a low energy adaptive clustering hierarchy this is a two tier hierarchy clustering architecture this distribution algorithm is used to arrange the uh, sensor nodes into a groups known as the clusters in every clusters which is formed separately the head of the clusters will create the tdma that is the time division multiple access plans. It uses the data fusion concept so that it will make the network energy efficient. A wireless sensor node contains a sensor. A, trans a sensor is a transducer that converts the physical phenomenon such as heat, light, motion, vibration and sound into electrical signals. A sensor node is a basic unit in a sensor network contains onboard sensors, processor, memory, transceiver and a power supply. A sensor network is a consist of a large number of sensor nodes, nodes deployed either inside or very close to the sensor phenomenon. Architecture of a sensor nodes, we have a transceiver, microcontroller, external memory, power source, sensors, and ADC. Transceiver is a device which is in a combination of a transmitter and receiver that is used to transmit and receive the signal at a time. Microcontroller for WSN. Microcontrollers perform the main tasks in sensor nodes, i.e. the processing data and the controlling the functions of the other components. These are some of the controllers used, uh, used as in digital signal processors, uh, field programmable date, uh, gate array, and uh, uh, applications. So microcontrollers are more suitable for sensor nodes. The best choice for embedded system is to use the microcontrollers because of their services providing like uh, it can... Uh, connect to the other devices it is more flexible and power consumption is also very less so microchips are the example for a microcontroller for wsn so microchips has pic microcontrollers are made up of microchip technologies limited these uh, are the mainly used in uh, industrial development due to the low cost and it has a uh, serial programming capability. Infrastructure in, in the PIC microcontroller, infrastructure is very simple but powerful. We can set the priority levels into the interrupts like uh, high or low and also we are, they are useful for real-time interrupts. Instruction set. For the lower end PIC, it varies uh, about 35 instructions for, and for higher end PIC, it varies about 18 instructions. So um, 
because we have uh, different types of PIC series. For example, PI C PIC 12 series size varies from the 12 bit and 30 bits in the PIC 30 in this single cycle execution with a single delay cycle. So memory architecture, PIC microcontrollers follow the hardware architecture, nothing but a separate code and data space. The microcontroller have a number of registers which can work as a general purpose RAM and some of these special registers control the registers on the on chip the researchers. In this uh, memory is divided into a banks. Input and output features. For every microcontroller, we have an input or output port, which, is, which are used to, for, for the transceiver, uh, which is a combination of a transmitter and a receiver and analog to digital conversion or uh, interfacing. But for some of the PICs series, microcontrollers have an on-bit, uh, on-chip ADC. It is analog to digital converter. Due to this, we can use the direct, uh, direct for analogy data from the transducer. Characteristics. So characteristics involve the power consumption constraints for the nodes using the batteries or energy harvesting, ability to cope up with the node failures that is resilience, mobility of the nodes, heterogeneity of the nodes, scalability of to the large scale of development. So ability to withstand the harsh environmental conditions, ease to use, cross layer design. So factors influencing WSM design, fault tolerance and uh, scalability, production costs, hardware constraints, sensor te network topology, environment, transmission media, power consumption, sensing, compute, communication and uh, data processing. See here are the uh, here is the diagram consisting of improvement factors that is energy efficiency, cost and use of use, system maintenance, overall planning and robust architecture, autonomous operation and intelligence or real time time moni monitoring need to be improved. Applications involve military applications, environmental application, health application, home and office application, automotive applications, and other commercial applications like intelligent transport, transportation service, e-house monitoring, intelligent home applications, and smart building monitoring. Advantages include it uh, avoids a lot of wiring. It can accommodate new devices at any time. It's flexible to go through physical partitions. It can be accessed through a centralized monitor. Lower speed compared to wired network, more complex to uh, configure than the wired network, gets distracted by a various environments like flags, that is Bluetooth and uh, still cross the range. Uh, it uh, does not make sensing the quantities in the buildings easier. It does not reduce the cost for installation of the sensors. It does not allow us to do more than that can be done with a wired system. Operational challenges of the uh, wireless sensor networks is energy efficiency, limited storage and computation, low bandwidth and high error rates. Errors are common during the wireless communication, noisy measurements, no failures are expected, scalability to a large number of sensor nodes, survivability in a harsh environment, and experiments are time and space intensive. Future of WSN is a sensor controlling appliances and electrical devices in the house. So as we have a smart homes uh, in our um, hands now, so we can expect a smart home, better lighting and health heating in an office uh, buildings. The Pentagon building is uh, has the used the sensor extensively. Here in the diagram, you can see the Pentagon building that has used the sensors extensively. Conclusion: WSN is possibly today uh, due to. Uh, Technological advancement in various domains envisioned to become an essential part of our lives. Design constraints need to be satisfied for realization of a sensor network. Tremendous research efforts have been made in uh, different layers of WSN protocol stack. So that's all for today. So thank you.